Let's try out this $2 garage sale scanner. Hello everyone. A brief look at this Bearcat 2020 Aircraft Marine Public Service scanner. Picked up for $2 at a local yard sale barn sale, I guess is what they have out here. Two American dollars. Works reasonably well. Right now I have it scanning some uh, police and fire dispatch frequencies that are semi-local to me. So look at it here. It's got a long antenna has uh, a place in the back for batteries uh, two double a batteries to keep the presets it has uh two banks of 20 presets that you can save so i have the first 20 with uh, as i said some local police and fire dispatch frequencies and that's what it's scanning now I was hoping it would pick up one by now, but uh, all quiet in rural Ohio right now, apparently. But I've been keeping it on most of the day. This uh, does get relatively hot. It's on AC power. Uh, I think these came with the option for 12 volts to be connected in your vehicle, but this did not have the box and it didn't have the adapter. Not certain this exact model was equipped for that, but there were several Bearcats in a similar body style that were designed for that. This will also scan. Let's just switch over to aircraft. Nowhere near a... Nowhere near a uh, airport, but I can still pick up. I guess there's a small kind of local airport that I'm hearing. All right, we're gonna get stuck there. Sometimes it gets hung up and doesn't move on very quickly. Maybe I'll turn down the squelch a little bit and see if that helps. Also, we'll search marine frequencies, but uh, we're going to have 777 American plus 331. Seven three, As I was saying before I interrupt, we don't have too many visits from the Coast Guard here in, uh, or any marine traffic in rural Ohio. Okay, let's go back to scanning and see if I can pick up something on police or fire dispatch before we sign off. The um, batteries that were in it, the AA batteries, were so corroded that it took a while to clean out the corrosion to to get it so that it would connect and hold frequencies. But um, sorry for the jangliness of this video. I'm not using a tripod, obviously. Um, and it does now hold the frequencies mostly, although it has this weird, unexplainable habit of, if I keep it unplugged for a significant amount of time, it may lose like two of the 20 presets. It'll just put them on some random frequency and I don't know why you would think either it would work or it wouldn't either. It has power to hold the memory or it doesn't. But Once in a while, if I leave it unplugged for a day and come back to it, most of the frequencies will still be set up the way I had them, but a couple of them will be changed to almost random frequencies. No idea why. Uh, 
So there, $2. Uh, been having a tremendous amount of fun just trying it out. I usually listen to uh, do some scanning on my little Bofeng handheld transmitter receiver, uh, but it scans very slowly and, uh, you know, has to be recharged every day or, or so. So this is a little more convenient just to leave on in the background and have a little fun listening to what's going on around me. $2 yard sale, Bearcat 2020. Keep your eyes peeled because uh, you might enjoy picking one up. How selfish are my neighbors um, not having an emergency when I'm trying to film? Well, I gave them enough of a chance. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you here again next time.